on bank anyway and how to let them know about that and, you know as as usual i thought about all the stuff except the thing that happened which was when it came uh to the time to sign in i couldn't get into zoom so the woman that was co-hosting the phone bank with me um, was actually the zoom host because she has a pro account and she um, so she was in the meeting and other people were in the meeting and we had speakers we had like uh, my congressman was coming and a delegate from Baltimore and the vice president of our city council here so there were a lot of things going on I had to share a PowerPoint and a video and I couldn't get in so panic uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you're probably thinking why didn't she just reboot her computer <laughs> which That's, turned out to solve the problem, but uh, it took a while. I, and in the meantime, the whole first 45 minutes when we were in Zoom, I was joining by phone. Uh, and it wasn't until people dispersed to go off and make their calls that I realized that I, what I should have done is reboot and so I rebooted the computer. It took about 15 minutes for the thing to come back, but I had no trouble getting into Zoom after that. Which just goes to show whatever. And, and can you say it again? She, she, she hosted another meeting, or what? Or what? what no, no, the no. Judy, my friend Judy, my neighbor, uh, she was hosting the Zoom meeting because she has a pro account, so we wouldn't get cut off. Uh, but I was the host of the event, the political activist event, which was called the House Party slash Phone Bank. And the day before I was obsessing about how to make the PowerPoint work. And I called Vance and he was watching the sunset. And I put out a, As you a, do. an As SOS you do. and Michael joined me. Thank you, Michael. And we were able to work that out, except since I wasn't in Zoom on my computer, I couldn't share the PowerPoint. But what I did, um, what was it exactly? Was she, was she hosting another meeting or why couldn't no, she get in? she was hosting that meeting. I couldn't get in because my computer crashed. I guess I had been on Zoom all day for, for two other events. And I guess my computer had had enough. It's like, I'm not doing this anymore. So I just needed to reboot. So I, the thing I is also down. because you cannot host two Zoom meetings on one computer. No, I know but that. Otherwise, you, you, you can join a Zoom meeting. No, I couldn't join Heike. It kept saying launching, 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 and I was never able to join. And did you not think of joining by mobile phone? Yes, I did that. But I didn't have the possibility. I mean, I had, had no idea how to share the PowerPoint. I guess I could have done it. The PowerPoint is in Google, in my drive. So I could have done it, but I didn't know how to do it. I hadn't practiced that. So what I did was email the PowerPoint to one of the speakers. She ran the slides and I talked. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah. Like web heads always say, if something can go wrong, it will and always have a plan B and C and D. So I had a B, but I didn't have a C and it never occurred to me that I wouldn't be able to get into the meeting and everybody else would. So that was fun, but we made a bunch of calls. We'll do it again. Welcome to everybody that arrived, Alicia and Maha. I've had trouble before when um, I got in, um, uh, it I'm the host, I'm supposed to run the meeting, but it recognizes my Firefox, but not my Chrome. So I switched over from Firefox to Chrome because my computer is old and Firefox was blanking it out. I just started using Chrome and I go into uh, Zoom and it doesn't recognize me. It says, wait for the host. I said, wait a minute, I'm the host, you know, like, <laughs> You know, let let uh, me in. I'm you're running not this in. meeting. You know, and all my people are waiting for me, but I'm on Chrome and I have to get out of Chrome, get back into Firefox, and 
And then it recognizes me. Oh, yeah, you're the guy that started this uh, meeting. So, okay, you can get in there. You know, it took me 20 minutes to figure out that the problem was I was in Chrome and not in Firefox. So all kinds of stuff can happen. Yeah, there, there sometimes the explanation is, is pretty simple. Like for, for me, just reboot. But in the heat of the moment, you just panic and don't think of it. Yeah, Heike and I have been trying to address some of these issues. Uh, yeah, and the biggest question I asked here, um, why did we have to upgrade to version 5.0? Is there anything new? Oh, grab! <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Boy, he's got a virtual foreground. That's cool. Oh. <laughs> I don't Hi, know. Hi, everyone. Hello. I had a haircut. Yeah, I, I can understand if you're a little embarrassed. This is the reason hair. for 5.0. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad hair day for Graham. Mm. <laughs> Definite bad hair day or, or bad fur day. That nice. is so wonderful. How on, earth, how on earth do you do this? It's a secret, I guess. I let secret. you know the secret. This is so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> We can play 20 better. questions if you like. Yes, please. <laughs> okay, you know how it works. I can answer yes or no. Are you right. a puppet? No, is, I'm not a puppet. This is a Snapchat. Uh, I have no other questions. I can't is think of it. Is it a plug-in? Did, did you say no? It's not I Snapchat. No. no, no, it's... Oh, I don't know. He said no, it's not a puppet. Okay. It's not a puppet. A yes, plugin. it is a plugin. Ah. It's a Snapchat plugin. No, it's nothing to do with Snapchat. Okay. Is it a Zoom plugin? Part of the software has a plugin that allows you to use it with Zoom and other video conferencing platforms such as Teams. This is mm -hmm. a Logitech feature. No. No, Art of, so that was Art a She got away with that. It was a statement. It doesn't count as a question. Do I have to pay five euro for every no? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Another question. If you want to pay five euros for every question, that's fine. You can donate <laughs> the money to charity, the charity of your choice. <laughs> so brilliant. Hmm. That's only five questions. Oh. You've got 15 more. Hmm. Well, you, well, anybody else chip in, please? <laughs> is Art of the Software the name that you gave us? Which name was that? Art of the Software? No, no. I meant part of the software part. is a plugin. Part of the software. The software is a video conferencing software uh, no it has to do with the with the webcam right that's two questions Heike. <laughs> so that's i'm Sorry, gonna say I, that's seven that's questions so far <laughs> but I'll answer them. As a teacher. <laughs> uh, is it part is it video conferencing software not really it's webcam software it's webcam software okay Hmm. Is it free? <laughs> no, it isn't free, uh, unfortunately. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Are we interested at this point? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I can't know if you're interested, Vance. <laughs> oh, I'm a cat. I, I can't read mine. Well, Vance, you're a cat herder. Yeah, I, exactly. That's a good one. I think Graham is trying to Come take on. my position. He's trying to take over this group. Heard me, Vance. <laughs> no, I Are you think trying he's to take over this group. Definitely be in the group. No, I'm just trying to uh, aim for herd immunity. Oh, okay, is it okay. face rig? Yes, it is, Heike. Woohoo! Yay! Is it what? <laughs> face rig. rig? Face rig. Face rig. Oh, okay, Heike, you have to put this in the chat, or some, or somebody does. 
face, face rig. Face rig. I, I put in Google, um, Graham Stanley looks like a furry cat. And this is what came up. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm infamous already. Yeah. Well, at least it looks anyway, better than I your haircut. Anyway, I didn't want to disrupt your conversation. That no, was so not. lovely. Just totally We've think it over. It. <laughs> I can't even remember what we were talking about. It's a new I form of Zoom bombing, Vance. Sorry. I have a question, Graham. Did you have a choice of fur color? Could you have been ah, a long-haired cat, a short-haired cat, I can, a black and white cat? I can change my appearance. Yes, Would please, you like to see please, another just, animal? Yes, please. Yes, Person? have a dinosaur. Yeah, why not? A dinosaur, like okay, come here. Your wish is my command. Oh, lovely. In Second Life, he used to turn up as an ape. <laughs> We loved his ape avatar, honestly. <laughs> While he's doing that, Michael, what are you up to these days? Yep, you, Michael. Looking for a face rig. <laughs> ah, <laughs> why not? It, it should be some sort of sea creature. I found that the cost Ooh, is... Oh, look, look at that beautiful dinosaur. Oh, is that oh, gorgeous? I'm glad he didn't do that first. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, so, sweet. Alicia, what were you saying? That, that I found out that the cost is $15. Oh, okay. So you pay $10 and you get various creatures you can be. Forever or ten dollars a month? I don't know. Forever and ever. Maybe maybe Graham knows. Hello everyone everyone. I have I had to find it had to make it through my phone because my computer didn't allow me. And I updated. I don't know. Yeah, I did too. It keeps asking me to update, but I've updated already, I think. So it, and it let me in, so yeah, but I don't know what happens that, that I had to, I finally, well, said go first and try then through my mobile and it worked. Hmm. Okay, well, good. Alicia, what country are you in? I am in Uruguay. Uruguay. I, uh, yes, we Thank have, you. we, I had the pleasure to share for, for some years. Donald Trump. <laughs> Oh, God, take there. him away. Take him away. Take him away. <laughs> I can't bear to be in the same room with him. <laughs> Sorry, nice. Alicia, we're having a blast of our lifetime. Yes. And when you swipe, you can see Graham Stanley on his funny face. Yes, I know why I'm looking at him. I'm no, looking at him. <laughs> I know, I know. That's wonderful. And you have to do the mouth like, <laughs> Can you do the mouth like he does? <laughs> <laughs> now this is awesome because it does actually do facial expressions, right? You're doing this in real time, Graham. Fantastic. Yes, it, it has fake, uh, sorry, face, fake news, sorry, face recognition and expression recognition. And if I move my head... You get a Twitter ban in a minute. It moves as well. What about if you raise your arms? No, it doesn't. It only it only, it only maps face. my face. It's so amazing. I can't raise my arms. So you're actually wearing a coat and a red tie. Exactly. I think that Randy Rainbow should start using this. Yeah, that's a good one, Graham. I like that one. No, please don't don't leave that one. Be something more Onion. pleasant. <laughs> I, I think about Donald Trump too much as it is. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's it's very day. disturbing. What kind yeah. of world we live in that me looking like Donald Trump is worse than me looking like a dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. You can say that again. Could you be Boris? No. Uh, I don't have oh. everybody. Oh, yeah, Boris the dog. Much better. Oh, Boris I like the husky. The husky. Oh. Right. Let's see what kind of facial expressions the husky can do. 
um, just opening of the mouth, I think. I can, I can blink my eyes. Uh-huh. Oh, sweet. Close my you eyes. can prick your ears. Prick your uh, ears. How I you haven't developed that ears? trick as a human, so I don't think I could do it as a dog. But you're doing it. <laughs> so gorgeous. Good Cute. dog. Good dog. That's great. But the dog's name is Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, I need to change that. <laughs> so I wanted to remind everybody that you could, if you want, rename yourself to include the place where you are. Yeah. Now, um, back to my question now. I, uh, you get 20 guesses why we have to update to Zoom.5.0. <laughs> 20. And <laughs> every, every no gets a, gets a, a five euro for a good cause. <laughs> No, and the thing is that why could I enter through through my mobile and I couldn't and I updated both I don't know, through my computer. Hmm. Yeah, I updated on the laptop, but I haven't updated on my phone. Do you think I need to do that separately or you didn't need to, at least yeah? No, I think that maybe yes, I think you need to do it in both places, but I don't know. Now I restarted my computer and then I what's what what's wrong if it can because as i give my classes i was wondering <laughs> this so there we have a live cat <laughs> oh that's sweet and michael you never got a chance to talking <laughs> yes michael how are you doing <laughs> My cat do the talking. I thought it might try and you know, get friendly with Husky, Husky Stanley down there. <laughs> uh, husky Stanley is is smiling. <laughs> this cat actually watches television. She actually is watching you. Oh wow, sweet. The other cat we have doesn't seem to even acknowledge the screen's existence. This one knows all about screens and follows things, as you can see. He looks at, all right, looks at the screen. In, in fact, is, they is he see... looking specifically at the dog? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they, they, see, they see where you're looking and they get in the way. That's what cats uh, Now, let's, let's see what the cat does when we put um, Husky on... Uh, Spotlight video. Spotlight video pushes actually um, from gallery view to a large view. Mr. Vance, can you do this? Can you do how skill spotlight? spotlight? I have, uh, I've been switching from gallery view to speaker view, but I don't know. No, but you can push it to the audience, for the audience, by selecting, by clicking on selecting it. Husky's uh, spotlight video in, spotlight in the video. settings, in the settings of the webcam. Spotlight is or just actually, a note here. I'm looking okay. on my phone. Yeah, no. There's spotlight video. <laughs> yeah, we all see Husky large now. Mm. Oh, it looks very nice. Somehow Michael, Michael, version. what's the cat doing? Is she disappearing I, now? <laughs> I see that the, the Graham got the ear movements down. Yeah, she, she's moved to the side, but she's she's looking. <laughs> Let's see. We'll spotlight. We'll spotlight the cat. Um, the cat disappeared, look. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. okay. The cat here she just moved off camera. Mm. <laughs> she got She's watching the dog. You've got she didn't want to be quite so there. close. So how do you get to move your ears, Graham? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I can't move them. Uh, why, does, why does the dog move them? <laughs> see, how do I unspotlight Graham? Cancel the spotlight video. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so Vance, how did you do that? How, how did you basically change to speaker view on my screen instead of just yours? Spotlight view, I guess. Yes. Yeah. And we have to all go back to gallery I view ourselves. So the spotlight view pushes the speaker view to everyone, but we have to switch back to gallery ourselves. Is that, oh. um, is that available on basic accounts or only pro? 
No, everything basic yeah. accounts. I never saw that. Yeah, no, you can see it in the webcam of that person if you're the host. You have this option. Look at Husky. Ah. My word. Okay, here we go. Here we go, folks. Prepare to be. Uh, I think we have a bomber. We have a bomber among us. Yes, we do. Oh, it's a bomber. Oh, my goodness. How did he get in? Uh, I like it. Yes. No, hang on a minute. I think I recognize that person. That looks like, like Graham. That's Graham Stanley. Yes, I think so. I think it looks very much like Graham Stanley without the paint. No, I don't look like this. Oh. Usually, anyway. Oh, okay. I bet you this wish you did. I, I tell you what, this picture goes on the document how to prevent Zoom bombing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm afraid we've had our, yep, Zoom bombing. Punk is with us now. Somehow he snuck in. Let's see if I can do a really scary face. <laughs> oh, yeah. yes, please. Oh, yeah. Open mouth and white eyes. Yeah. Ah, cool. <laughs> I love so it. It's following your face. That's really nice. Yeah. Oh, hmm. I am loving it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, I think you've sold it. I don't us. think he's listening to us. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not listening to you. Oh, yeah. okay. In that okay. case, we'll put you back on gallery view. Can, can you do the scary face one more time, please? <laughs> um, we'll make one more time. Uh, I missed Ooh. it. Okay, let's see. Put it back on spotlight view. There we go. He seems there to have a problem with the scary face. <laughs> oh, yeah, the eyes are wonderful. Yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> Hurry up, hiker. I can't keep my, op my eyes wide open and mouth wide open for very long. Uh, but that was that's just adorable. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Graham. I got it. I got a good shot of that one. <laughs> it would be in the various recordings. Oh, it's on Facebook right now. Ooh, it's cool, huh? Let's see. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, great Zoom bombing. I think we'll you know, people encourage... on Facebook can they can they talk in this conversation or just listen? No, they can text chat. Okay, with us. Yes. And I, I managed entering from my laptop, so now I'm asking permission. So then I leave. <coughs> oh the, goodness! The, I have yes. I'm. I've. Maru is it, out there waiting. I had sort of missed it. I was so focused on I, um, I, focused on Graham. Okay. It's hard not to be. Yeah, I know. This distracted me from. Uh, sorry, Maru. <laughs> Uh, we were looking at Graham. I hope you were following the stream. Good one. Let me see if I put it on speaker view. Uh, oh, we have another Zoom bomber. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's just over there. Okay. Oh, here's, English gentleman. Uh, uh, we have a second Alicia. I remember uh, we... Uh, Oh, there's Maru. Hi, Maru. How are you? Hi. <laughs> I, I left the other meeting from, from my mobile. Oh, okay. Okay. It's more comfortable from here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me see if I put on a speaker view. Okay. Let's see what Maru happens. Maru Campo, it is so great to see you here. Yes, I'm very happy to see you too. It's You're beautiful. muted. You have to I unmute. Know. So long, Maru. How are you? So nice this is Alicia. <laughs> I'm glad to see I you. Yes. I can't hear Maru. Can you, Alicia? Yeah, I, I, he, I can hear her, but very low voice. She's closer to Uruguay than she is to Maryland. <laughs> that may not no, be no. true. I think, you know, sometimes the, these uh, speakers, right, so to have headphones, it reduces the volume. So maybe Maru, you can. Maybe maybe it's better. Very slightly. Very slightly. Oh, no, that's, that's better. better. Yeah. So, yes, it's better. better. Yeah. I I learned the other day that 
if you have your speaker volume turned up to maximum that you will get feedback. Bad idea, never more than 80%. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. not the problem today. So nice I made it. It's too early for me. Oh. <laughs> uh, what time is it there? It's, it's seven, 7 in the morning, but seven. they usually go to bed at 2. Ah. So it's a very short time. <laughs> ah. Yeah, really. On Saturday nights, you have to go to bed early. On Saturday night, I have to learn to go to bed early to be here. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I'm also playing with uh, uh, Facebook and seeing that I can manipulate the, uh, let's see, for example, let's see, I can put the distinguished, Graham's distinguished, oh, Graham's changes. Let's see, I'll ah. spotlight his video. Oh, nice. Oh. Wow. I don't know, it doesn't look it's like no Graham's great that. <laughs> I don't know, Graham. I, I don't know how long you're going to stay involved in your social <laughs> networks if you keep this up. <laughs> what are you trying to say, Hans? Oh. I, I was just, uh, I don't know, uh, nothing, nothing really. I, no, I, I really like your, your, uh, the way you grace your social networks. I think that's what I meant to so. say. <laughs> This is too funny. Yeah. I'm now watching the stream at the same time now. Oh, okay, yeah. But you can't watch it at the same time because there's a delay, but... Uh, well, okay. <laughs> approximately the same time. Right now, you but... can do whatever you like, right? So yeah. can anybody explain the, the, the science behind why you can't sing in a Zoom choir. Oh, it's terrible. I want to do that too. I, I can... Because it cancels out the mic, doesn't it? When one person speaks, it blocks out the sound in the other mics. Yeah, I don't think right? so. Because everybody talks at the same time. But there's a lag, so everybody's in different places in the song. Mm, that's probably what it is. But what, why is there a lag? What is responsible for the lag? Uh, the hops that the, uh, not the hops that you drink in your beer, but the hops that you, um, that your voice makes in satellites as it moves from one computer to the other. <laughs> I, I, can, I can explain a little bit how to avoid the lag if you like. Great, and sure. I can also tell you why we have a lag. It's because we sing when we hear somebody. And if that person, uh, the, the voice that we hear is only half a second delayed, could be, then we automatically tune into that half a second, producing another half a second for that other person to pick it up, who then responds again in the same way. This is why there's a lag. And there's, uh, I kept saying for many years, we cannot sing together. I tried it many times. I tried it many times in Second Life and in, in video conferencing. I always kept saying we cannot sing together until I watched a VR chat karaoke event. And the minute when you actually see the video and hear the tune from the video, which everybody hears the same time, then you can sing with the video together with the others. And this way you can sing together. It has mm. to be that way. So you have to have a video or an audio. You have to have the music the or the karaoke is a typical. Yeah. So if I was to play uh, a video here and everybody receives that video again in the half a second delay, whatever, but we all sing along with this one tune. And this is how the choir, the sound gets together in as one. Thank you, I hear. That's why <laughs> bands have drummers. So all you need is a band on recording and you have your chorus. Correct. Have you all seen the wonderful TED talk called A Virtual Choir? 
Oh, it's really wonderful. It's Eric. Could you share Whitaker. the link? I'd love yeah, to. See I, it. I won't share share the link because I'm not lazy. But Eric Whitaker Virtual Choir. If you if you put that into the TED search. Um, Oh, wow. he, he has a couple he has a couple of video, uh, talks uh, and you want the first one where he he describes how he became a, a composer and a choral conductor and how he formed the first virtual choir it's just delicious one of my favorite talks ever I will I'll, I'll go find the link to the right one because otherwise you might watch another one first <laughs> I'll I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. There are other more um, technical issues that can explain what goes on when with audio lag. I mean, what Heike was suggesting, I guess, works, but partly it's a function of your sound card. The better sound card you have on your computer and the more likely you are to get a synchronous experience with audio. And I've learned recently, because I was trying to do this, play music with other people on tools like Zoom, and it's virtually impossible because that lag just makes it annoying. Unless you have an audio interface controller, which is another piece of hardware that you plug in to your computer that talks to your sound card and manages that process for you. So there are, and that's when you watch people with, you know, home studios, well-known musicians who are, you know, they've got the money and the expertise and the, the technical help. When you see them playing together in different rooms, that's what they've got. They've got all this extra stuff that costs quite a lot of money and quite a lot of technical expertise to set it up. So that there are other more expensive, complicated ways of getting your audio in sync. It's actually quite difficult for computers to do it. And there's also, if you remember learning uh, Blackboard Collaborate, and I was thinking of learning times because in those days, I mean, the audio in Collaborate was fantastic, much better than this. And we could, because it was designed to accommodate that lag, whereas these, this tool is simpler and not, so even within the webcasting area, you will get better tools at handling the latency. But in, uh, Can you mention collaborate... again the, uh, the, the type of hardware that you need? Can you mention, can you write that in a text chat if you could? I really, I've, I've asked all of these questions all the time. Interface, audio interface controllers. What I've seen other people do is if they're playing with one other person then the person who is leading for example turns off their um, microphone or, or rather turns off their speakers and then the other one plays along to that person and broadcasts that's what um, Steve Naive does Steve Naive is Elvis Costello's keyboard player and every Every day he does like a, something called an improvisation session and he has people join him and basically he turns off uh, their ability to, to listen. They lead and he plays along. Hmm. I like this webbed soldier. I'm going to steal yeah. it for one of our, uh, I'm going to steal it for one of our covers, our Facebook covers. Cool. <laughs> okay, Graham, you're back in my good graces again. You're inter you're integrating well with your social network. <laughs> and and Graham, can us. you can you write down the name and uh, the way he does it? In terms yeah, of, I'd really appreciate it. I'll add a link to uh, his page, and you can just watch one of them where he has a collaborator. Thank you Jeez. so much. Is that Graham? Yes, this is Graham, Graham Stanley. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, he, he just got <laughs> a haircut. changed a bit in the last he, couple of weeks. He's quite changed. Yes. It, it's Mexico, you know. 
He's, <laughs> he's he's quarantine is, is he has to wear a hat boy. because of he's his a haircut. little boy playing with a toy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. I thought it was a bug spray or something. No, I mean the toy is face rig. That's the toy. Oh. <laughs> okay. I can't Layman. believe I'm looking at you. Just can't. Shay Stanley. Maru, how Hi. is your husband? My husband, he's doing fine. This I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, he, he, well, he was kicked out from work um, oh. in not a very nice manner. But uh, in, the benefit was that he's not uh, in front of computers so much. So his eyes are kind of stable. That's fine. It's a good outcome for me. So we're happy. Sometimes bad things turn into good things. Yeah. And now with this, uh, but we have to have uh, to be everyone at home. Most of my friends said, oh, I have my husband 24-7. And I'm like, mm, I've been like that for a year. So this, this is not a result of the virus. This is from before. So right. we, we were arranged um, nicely when, when things happen. And um, that's fine. Retirement has the same result. That's when I guess you figure out if you actually like this person that you're married to or don't. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> what, what's, um, the, um, what's the pandemic situation in Mexico? Do you have many cases? Are they still rising? Uh, I think we are just starting. We are now over 100, no, 400 per day. But people's going out and Tomorrow, people will go out with permission of the government. So they ended the, the, the confinement. Confinement was ended. And I, Why I, did they do that? I Why don't know. They? I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand, really, because there's a lot of things going on. Uh, but people went out. There are a lot of pressures from, from outside. And, uh, well, the person and say yes, go out, and that's it. But uh, are people there's wearing a lot masks? of people that want to go out, that need to go out. Uh, we have a, um, th there's much, um, how can I say, poverty. Ne people need to, to eat, to go out. Those are the ones that are out. And um, the situation is that then, I think we, we will come to hard times. It's still not hit here yet. I, I saw uh, an article in the Washington Post, I think, today. I haven't read it, but the headline was that South America was set to become the next big hotspot. Yeah, pro I, I agree. Yeah. I Alicia, agree. how about Uruguay? Hello, oh, well. <laughs> Hello. Well, so Uruguay looks like an example nowadays. To do oh, many how to do it or how not to do it? Like the United no, States. No, how to do it. No, how not to do no, it. Because of the, no, because of the results, the good results, right? Um, there was not a compulsory confinement. So it was addressed to, to the people of responsibility and many messages sent the president speaking at the very first day uh, every day about it and showing his involvement and all the ministries and everything and the people well responded and that is in, shown in the results right we until now we have had 22 deaths wow and Yes, and uh, until now, no? for two months and a half, over. it's going to be three months. <laughs> and then um, every day there are few new cases. What it happened is now in the border with Brazil, a city, 
now appear more cases, but I mean, in one day it was like, for us it was terrible that appeared 18, that was too much, right, for just in the news for us. But that is, was because of, a, well, we have borders that are dry borders. So then the people live and work, in, live in Rivera, that is the border with Brazil, but work, many people working on the border of Brazil. So they, those people are allowed to come and go, but then uh, the president went this week, right, twice and also, well, so he, by his involvement as well is showing, I don't know, all the uh, support and responsibility to the population. So, so we are, so, so we, schools will start little by little. Um, and they have worked uh, through Ceibal, right? You you heard about Ceibal, right, plan. So many, but anyway, it still showed that people who had low level, right, they were not able to enter the platform. There were many out. So again, it shows about the differences. In, so those people who also need more education weren't able to access, right, this month to education. So that's why the, the president started with some rural schools and nothing happened. And now there are in June, as from Monday, some will start, then on the 15th, and then at the end of the month. That is the, so little by little and, and analyzing results, analyzing results, right? There was some evidence that for me was, was important that the construction started like a month and a half ago and i thought that it would have been chaotic but no, no no case came out right so they follow all the sanitary instructions and everything so well so we are we are managing the, the situation well and then tourism is started but in inside the country and uh, so little by little but many many people without jobs from one day to another it's so incongruous to listen to you talking about the situation and then to see Graham in his new yes 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 Graham yeah. <laughs> nice distracting me he's a nice lady <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Where speed shots here all right um so is it difficult to 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 just be in live through Facebook then? Or is it easy yeah, through Zoom? To to uh, broadcast to stream through Facebook? Yes. Oh it's quite easy. Yeah. Quite easy. Yeah. Oh actually I've well I've just written up something that explains how to do it. I'll put the link in the text chat. Um, mm -hmm. thank you. Let me just uh getting this um in just playing around with Are, Alicia, when what what is your school year in Uruguay? Um are, are, are you at the end of the school year or the beginning no, of it? No, 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 no. We were starting. We we, we were starting in March. Uh -huh. So then I, it was just maybe a few days and then everything closed, right? From one day on the thirteenth of March. It was a stop, right? So when the four, the first four cases appeared, the government decided to stop every everything, right? Not compulsory in in the way of people being out or not, but but very strong announcements, and then people understood what was happening around, what was happening around the world. So all all public places uh, closed, right? And all schools closed. And well, construction, it was at the moment that they gave some days, say, uh, like, uh, like, the, like for, from, from the annual holidays. So combined with something because it's a strong um, union. So it's difficult sometimes to manage them. So it was a combination of things that made us stay like a month without jobs. And so then when they came back, we were like, 
I don't know, thinking what was going to happen, but nothing happened because they, they follow the, the, the rules. And yeah, it's so ironic that when you, when you do this thing and it works, then people feel like, well, it wasn't necessary. It was, it depends about the education a lot about education. Our country is small and it's not big, so maybe it cannot be done in every, with the same situation everywhere, right? But it was like an, an example for, I don't know, of education. And then what we also did with the Greg Mortimer, I don't know if you, if you occur around the well, it was a cruise ship that, that came from the south of Argentina and, and there were people who bored and they, they had the coronavirus so then it was spread inside of the cruise ship mm. and, and none of the countries uh, around wanted to give help and we, we actually helped them, right? So we, 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 we send them doctors, nurses, and everything to evaluate the situation. We let them stay 20 kilometers from our port. And, uh, and well, and then it was very risky and very courageous, right, from doctors that they volunteer to go on board and everything. Um, and that, the evaluation, from that evaluation, there was one that was, uh, in hospital and unfortunately uh, die, but only one. And then uh, the, the others, well, they, at least they separated. And then we made like a sanitary corridor and the ones that were okay, they were able to return their country. So it was something like a miracle for them that we arranged everything. And uh, they were from New Zealand, Australia, some Americans, and then the others, um, I don't remember the one. So the ones that stay until it was a week ago or 10 days that, that the cruise ship finally left our country, but it was here mm -hmm. for two months. Uh, and then they, they allow the cruise ship come to our port. And finally, uh, the, the, it was the crew that was uh, inside uh, that then it was also divided and sent to two hotels the ones with coronavirus, the one without coronavirus. And we host them until uh, like a few days ago that they left uh, back on board the cruise ship. And it was chaotic for them. And it was wonderful, the reaction of our country to make them feel confident and happy and with a, right, envision a future because I've, I've heard that the, I don't know now, but in, for example, in Florida, there were many, many, many cruise ships with similar situation that they were there outside and people without receiving help. Alicia. Yeah. I Graham. also read that um, it was a wedding that was held in Carrasco that caused the main number of cases in Uruguay. That was someone who came back from Italy and actually held a party when she was infected. Is that right? Yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's correct. It was one lady that came from Italy. She's very, she's quite famous and not much more, <laughs> but in a bad way. Uh, her image was spoiled, obviously. Uh, um, that she, she came from Italy and, 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 and she had it, but she wasn't sure enough. And that was on a wedding that she went on the very first days of March at Carrasco, a play in a Carrasco area. Um, and then that was the, the, the start of the pandemic, right? It was through her. And then a PR, some others that also had travel, right? You know that at the beginning, this pandemic, it was associated with people with money, right? People who could travel, but knowing the low level areas, right? We, 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 practically, we practically don't have, right? Anyone infected in low level areas. So, so I, and also then it was spotted in neighborhoods. There were only three neighborhoods where there were more cases with, uh, 
coronavirus. And it was related to also one of the most well Can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Um, who do you think on a world scale is actually reporting corona cases and corona deaths accurately? What do you think? Yeah, no, no, we have every day, we have reports through the Ministry of Health. No, I'm, I'm talking about the world scale. You know, we've been watching ah, the world scale. Yes. And obviously, um, in the beginning, people yeah. felt China was lying. Now we feel yeah. Russia yeah. is lying. Now uh, mm. Brazil, and there's so many cases like where they corrected the uh, number of deaths afterwards because they didn't count those in the nursing homes. And uh, France has a very bad reporting system and, and, and on. What do you think? Which country is the one that most honestly and most truly reports the cases and the deaths, do you think? I can. I think we'll only know afterwards. For example, in the UK, my brother had the, uh, the coronavirus and we suspect my mother has had it as well. But they haven't been counted because they haven't been tested. Exactly. So there's a lot of cases where people have come, have been, uh, have had it, but actually haven't been counted. Right. And then there are other cases home, where they're only counting people who are sort of get to hospital like right. in Mexico. Right. So in other words, we expect there's about eight times the more cases in Mexico than are actually being counted. Yes, that's mm. difficult with big countries, obviously. And as I said, we are small and our aim is to test around a thousand people per day. But the thing is, there are protocols, right? If you have fever, so to report, and then depending on the <coughs> situation, they send doctors. So, so there are different protocols. But, um, but it's true that, that many times, and we think that in Brazil with the... Um, with how they treated at the beginning, it would be very difficult to actually know how many they are, right? And maybe in the States uh, and so on. Yeah, there's a problem of not having enough tests. And then people who die in nursing homes or people who die at home or people who died before anybody was thinking about this, mm. uh, those people are not counted. Mm. Mm. And I think, you know, well, I know that's true in the United States. In France, for example, my cousin and her mother had it, uh, uh -huh. but they were never tested, so I'm sure they don't appear in the, in the figures. They just wrote it out at home. And then there are all the people that have it and they're asymptomatic, and they never get counted yes. either. That's so, yeah. well, there was an article in today's Guardian newspaper that said there's a theory that up to 50% of people or asymptomatic. But the big question is, and I think nobody knows this yet, um, having had it, are people immune? Immune. If so, how long? That, that's that's problem, the sixty-four thousand dollar question. Yeah. Yeah. And, the other thing. Is, the other thing. What is emerging now is. The, uh, um, the statistics that they can do afterwards, for example, that what they're looking at is the average rate of deaths in any given um, months of the year. And mm -hmm. for example, in Bergamo, when Bergamo reported uh, thousands of deaths, they looked at afterwards at the statistics of how many deaths are on average in the month of March in Bergamo. And they found that the difference of the official numbers to the uh, the above average number of deaths was so much. I mean, it was it was almost like double. And that's just Bergamo, which is where everybody's looked at the the, the attention of the whole world was at at the very beginning. Uh, we heard of China. The statistics that they're saying is that they estimate it wasn't four thousand; it was forty thousand. And they guessed that according to the eight funeral, um, where the people were allowed to pick up the, uh, the, the ashes of their deceased uh, relatives in the time, 
And they were saying there were eight stations and they were looking at the boxes, the amount of boxes displayed in each of the stations and the amount of people as they were walking in and out. And remember, in China, ancestor worship is a religion. So if they can't get the ashes of their deceased ones, uh, they're, 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 this is a very sensitive topic. And yet, um, nobody afterwards, you know, re-evaluated these figures. Um, and so, and in Germany, they also looked at how many deaths on average per month happened uh, over the, the last 20 years and then compared it to the death rates um, in, in, the, in this month. But they can only do it post-month. Obviously, they can do, only look at it uh, once it's over. And so, uh, yeah, that's the only way of knowing, really. And it's not talking about the, the cases. And funny enough, to be honest, also, this is why, oh, this is so sweet, Graham. It turns out so sweet. <laughs> oh, that's that Vicky, Vicky now. That's Vicky. Vicky though. Yeah. <laughs> She's, <laughs> no, he Hi, made out. He is here. <laughs> I'm on my spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> now that's the background vicky but what graham has he has face rig oh, yes um, i've seen that i have already he's making out, out to be you at the moment he's a I've fake checked it out a already. Fake attendee. <laughs> yeah he started he started um uh you know impersonating people now i'm telling you yeah what's so, i got <laughs> the gorgeous. face rig madness on <laughs> oh, fake, fake Vicky. It's called fake Vicky. <laughs> no, I'm uh, just saying that. Uh, sorry, just to close that one sentence because I don't even think that Germany is particularly very good at that. But um, the one thing is now happening is uh, churches have opened up and restaurants have opened up, and now we're hearing of cases in one restaurant of 150 infected due to a family gathering. 150 new cases in one restaurant alone. The restaurant owner, it was a closed, uh, it was a, really a family uh, event, uh, a closed group of people getting together mm -hmm. for, I don't know, some celebration. And afterwards, 150 new cases came out of it. And two churches, two church gatherings, uh, again, in, in high numbers, the cases that came out of it. So these are the, just a few spotlights that they've been discovering right now as, as the country is opening up. And of course, the attention is very, very high on those uh, spotlights where, where things are opening up. So I don't think it's over, to be honest. No, I don't think it's over either. And over here, uh, the school's closed. We gather inside, we confined ourselves um, the 14th of March. <clears throat> um, our mom is living with us now. She's 82. She goes or attended a daycare. Well, not care. It was, it's like a club. And they kept going and it was like, oh God, I don't want her to go. But anyway, they closed um, uh, Friday, the same week. And uh, the poor things are alone. The teachers jumped to give them lessons this week. So all of them, the, mm -hmm. the members of the club, senior club, are on his own at home. Kids are doing um, the homework, they're working. And uh, curiously, Mexico adopted Carla Arena's uh, model mm -hmm. for G Suite. So I, I'm I'm a freelancer. I, I don't have access to to the to the Ministry of Education uh, programs. But from my cousins that are teachers, I saw the pages, and it's the same model that Kara used. So it, when it was presented, uh, one people from um, Google, and I just called talk to Carla. And she says that yes, it, it is her model. It was translated to Spanish. All the the programs, the Mexico program programs were inside, and this is what uh, it's being used this week for, for the general um, education. And yeah, the ministry op opted or chose that model, and it's very good. It's paying attention to emotions, and it's very complete. Kids are very nice. But the problem is with the with the senior people, 
uh, the, the computer is busy, mom is busy, dad is working from home too, and they are on his own, on their own with no one, no activity, not even in their phones because mm -hmm. there isn't. So and uh, can I ask on that? Can I ask a question to everyone here in the audience? Because uh, we have uh, Dilip Barad's event is on uh, this coming on the 3rd of June. And I was wanting to put together a little idea of how many countries have actually had the kids being taught at home um, it, synchronously, like using Zoom, using, uh, you know, Adobe Connect or whatever, how many countries have had this and versus countries who actually just had the kids, like send the kids homework via email and then had the parents to deal with it. So, so how many countries represented here? Just a little bit, just to get an idea for the event on, on, on Wednesday. I kind of promised to live a little bit of an overview over Europe, which I'm not sure I'm getting together. But um, uh, how many countries that you know of has actually been in the position to teach the kids live online, synchronously, um, some school curriculum? We do have, yes, and, but the same, it also depends on the connectivity and, and the laptops that the, so we have like this, the program that is one laptop per child, but sometimes uh, the kids don't, or if they, if it's broken or if they lost it, and also depends on the connectivity at home that we cannot request them to have, to pay something that they can afford, so that's why they have it at school. But uh, universities, private schools, uh, well, schools from Ceibal, they have continued with that. But anyway, it was not uh, everyone, right? But high percent. Uh, so in Argentina, in Argentina, uh, it depends. Uh, it heavily depends on on, on a few factors. Uh, one is the geographical location of the school and connectivity. Um, uh, so if you, if we talk about Buenos Aires and, and uh, the big cities, uh, many schools have been doing synchronous teaching uh, because the technology has allowed them to do that. Uh, in many other remote areas, this has been much more difficult. So they have had to find other options. Uh, myself, I work in a privileged school uh, in the middle of Buenos Aires with uh, high uh, middle class, high class students. So all of them have a computer and an internet connection and uh, or a mobile phone. So we have been teaching synchronously and asynchronously both. Uh, but it depends on the type of school too and the, and the realities of, of the students really many families share only one device for i don't know three or four uh, children and uh, so it's quite impossible to 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 pretend or to ask them or demand that they that they can be online at a certain time you know it's not that easy uh in qatar i don't have much experience here but in qatar my grandchildren are actually getting online lessons through zoom and sometimes bobby reads stories uh and makes videos so kindergarten teachers there can uh, can give them my other granddaughter is uh, much older uh, that's, 11 a, that's a new one for volunteering in schools from half a world away mm -hmm. yeah but uh she's a kindergarten teacher and her daughter-in-law is a kindergarten teacher as well well not kindergarten but, she, but she's reading she's in penang reading stories and they're using them in the in the class and cutter yes that's uh -huh. amazing yeah and they and that is really amazing. yeah the teacher does that as well but uh yeah i'm sure she appreciates the support i've got to do something here because uh you know mike Contreras, he's giving a talk in a minute and I was going to join it. Uh, let me see if I can share a screen. I'll show you what it is. Uh, if I can find it here, where is it? it must be over here, maybe. I'm just guessing. Uh, share this. 
Um, over here, here we go. There we are. Yep, yeah, there we go. This is. Uh, I don't, are you familiar with this conference? Is taking place in Greece right now. It's a. I don't know what you can see there. Anyway, this is the conference. Should I make that a little bit smaller? I have been following this since yesterday. Uh, some uh, some sessions are very nice. Yes. Well, I I saw Michael Carrier yesterday, and today I I saw. Um, mm -hmm in Ran, uh, Russell Standard, and I want to catch this one by uh, Michael Contreras. I don't know if you know Mike, but he's, uh, he's a webhead and he's also into Minecraft and he's an EVO. Oh, he was doing flip learning with um, the EVO session in flip learning. And he's talking right now, or in a few minutes, I'm not sure exactly what time it is. All my computers are giving different times and my watch as well. I was going to look it up on timeanddate.com. It's about to start in two minutes. Can, it's about to start. Can you share the link, then? Uh, yes. That. Let me see if I can share. Hang on a minute. Uh, let me stop the share. Okay. Um, hmm, I've got so many windows open here. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Um, it's at learningtogether.com. Let me just... If I can. Oh, there's a Facebook page there. Let's see. I'll, I'll do a screen share if I can. I'm, I'm getting there now. So I'll just see if I can share what I'm doing here. Okay, let's see if that's this one right there. Okay. So that's learning together and upcoming events. And this is what we're doing right now. And this is what uh, Mike is doing. And there's a, there's a, a Facebook page here. So let me copy that because you have to register. Oh, although actually you can come to this page and get all the Zoom links and they'll let you write in. So here's the Facebook page. But actually if you go to that page, let me give you there's a Facebook page. I don't I don't know if they would be able to register right now, but um, if you go to let's see that's not that page, but oh, upcoming events. Hang on a minute. I can give you a link that will work. Uh, this is the the link right there, which is to the conference activities. I'll put that here. Okay, so that one's going in the text chat. And that one, if you go there, and you'll land right where my cursor is right now. If you scroll down, you can find the Zoom links for Mike. And then there's um, language of COVID and the good, bad, and ugly of online teaching. Cliff Perry, uh, there's three, three yet to go. So anyway, this one, Mike is talking about um, teaching writing online. So I, well, I think I'd like to do it. What I could do is I could do it on my other computer if I stop the Facebook. Uh, oh, stop share. Here we go. So you got the, uh, you got the links there. So if do you, if you want to continue, I could assign a co-host here. Should I do that? Um, I'm actually keen to go as well to watch. Sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me too. Thank you very much. Good it's good seeing you. Hello. See you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nina's hand was up. Was that I want to be a co-host or bye? Which was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Well, anyway, uh, thank you very much for coming. This is, uh, I figure out where we are right now. This is, uh, this is uh, May 31st, <laughs> 2020. This is talent event number 22, uh, sorry, 23. And uh, this is the 10th Webheads and Action Revival Sunday meeting and Learning Together episode 468. So I like to get all that stuff <laughs> out on, uh, on my Zoom meetings. So anyway, thanks everybody. Should I- Thank everybody, it was good to see you. Yeah, nice to you. Thanks everyone. Did, did you know we started an hour earlier than you arrived?
Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But uh, I had a splitting headache and uh, I was trying to <laughs> get it okay. under control before I logged in. Okay, <laughs> just just checking if, you, if you're aware of the time. Okay, yeah. fine. Well, nice to see you. Really here, nice to see you. Sort of I'm going to Thank stop the live stream on Facebook. Good to see you, everybody. Good to see everybody. Please, yeah. Okay, Graham. Yeah, you're, oh, uh, Thanks, young Graham. Webhead saying goodbye. Yeah, I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> we have to choose one then. Yeah. Oh, I love the cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cat was good. All right. Okay. I like have Webhead's a good Sunday. For some reason. Okay. okay. Cheers. Have a good Sunday. Okay. Bye, bye, Sunday. bye everybody. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.